There was an expectant crowd for this Italian derby as the visitors Treviso sought back-to-back -back wins over Zebre, having beaten their fellow Italians by five points just after Christmas, ending an eight-game losing streak. New coach Marius Goosen made four changes, with Treviso looking for a fourth successive win over Zebre. The home side, cheered on by a large crowd at the Stadio 25 Aprile, were hoping for a first Pro 12 win at home and a second win of the season to lift them off the bottom of the table. Having secured two losing bonuses in their last couple of games, hopes were high in the Zebre camp. This was French referee Alexandre Ruiz's first time to take charge of a Pro 12 game. The first score of the match came in the 12th minute, with much of the credit in the lead-up to the try going to flanker Dries van Schalkwijk, whose clever chip ahead put Treviso under pressure, Angelo Esposito failed to deal with it, and Guglielmo Palazzani got over for the first score of the match. The TMO was called into action to confirm that the try was good, and he was happy that there was no knock-on, so the home side were off to a flyer. And although Luciano Orquera missed the difficult conversion, Zebre had a 5-0 lead. Treviso responded well. Matt Berkvist clocked up 10 points in the reverse fixture and he got his first three of the afternoon when Zebre's David Gerson was penalised for coming in from the side on 15 minutes. Berkvist did very well to land the penalty from close to halfway and that brought it back to 5-3. And from a similar position, he put the visitor 6-5 ahead in the 27th minute. The New Zealander proving very reliable with the boot. As a relatively uneventful first half drew to a close, the Zebre defence was penalised for hands on the ground as Treviso threatened. And Bergqvist took advantage with another fine penalty with what was the last kick of the half. And that gave the visitors a narrow 9-5 lead at the break. Straight from the restart, Zebre were on the attack. And Orquera knocked a penalty over the bar to leave just one point between the sides. Zebre 8, Treviso 9. Ten minutes later, Zebre were back in front. Treviso were penalised at the scrummage. And Orquera kicked a really excellent effort from wide right to put the home side 11-9 up on 52 minutes. However, that lead was short-lived as the game swung one way and then the other. The consistent Bergquist with one of the easier kicks of the day to put Treviso 12-11 up on 55 minutes. As the rains came down, Zebre got a controlled rolling mall going. They progressed towards the Treviso danger zone. And as they did, the referee awarded them a penalty when Cornelius van Zyl came in from the side. Once again, from a difficult angle and in difficult conditions, Orquera kicked a sweet penalty between the posts to put Zebre 14-12 ahead. And the dream of that elusive first home win was very much alive. As the full-time whistle drew closer, the tension was palpable amongst the crowd. Cavanato and his players on the bench and on the pitch as an historic first win loomed large. And as the full-time whistle blew, the celebrations could begin. A second win of the season and at long last a home win for the local supporters to savour. It's also a win that saw Zebre move off the bottom of the table above Connacht, at the very least temporarily as Connacht had a match later that day. Treviso have to settle for a losing bonus with Scarlets at home next time out. Final score in Parma, Zebre 14, Benetton Treviso 12.